in pocket. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I am crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a motorcycle built for two. You can all you can kind of think of of living in a condominium association as as a as a um, as a myopic form of socialism or communism, right? Uh, it works in some respects, but by and large, I mean, it, it just becomes uh, um, it becomes problematic because then you have a body of people that can basically decide or dictate to to the the uh, um, the body as a whole what rules and regulations have to be followed within the confines. And then there, of course, there are state laws that apply to that. Um, I was on the board in my condo association for two years. I was board secretary. And uh, I have to tell you, <laughs> I do not want to be a career politician. Hell to the no. And um, it's, it's a political thing. And then you get people that want to, well, case in point, the person that is uh, president of this should never, ever, it's, it just amazes me how uh, what I consider um, people that are morally ambiguous um, or have a very loose set of, you know, um, how much they freaking get away with stuff. It just amazes me. You know, case in point. Well, the person who's president now was act, was actually ex officio. In other words, they were a member of the board, but what they call ex officio. In other words, there wasn't they weren't in any official uh, capacity on 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 the uh, on the board, but they were just present there, um, you know, while things were going on. So, uh, a member of the board that's called an ex officio is somebody who's not in, in a in a uh, in a full capacity to make decisions and that sort of thing, but they can um, they can vote on things if uh, you know the con if the association is changing policy and that sort of thing. But anyway, I'm I'm kind of babbling on about that. Well, anyway, um, there is a significant amount of work that was done to this building, uh, which cost a great deal of money. A large uh, portion of work done. Obviously, that expense, um, a, a loan was taken out, and then the loan amount was tacked on to the condo fees, and then of course the expense is shared across the spectrum. Now, what happened was, is somebody decided that the person who is currently now board president decided that they should be acting in a capacity with which to be manage the project. Now, this person was not qualified in any way, shape, or form to manage. Um, to manage the building project and they they stated and i quote um well i can learn as i go along sort of thing <laughs> like really <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like saying yeah you know um i've never been a, I've, I've never been a lawyer but i'll be happy to represent you you know and there's this other saying it's like a person who represents themselves as their own lawyer has a fool for a client Anyway, that's a whole other story. But anyway, so, um, you know, and, and as, a, as a consequence, the, the person who was overseeing, the, first there was the roofing project that had to be done. These guys that came and did the work, um, it's a flat roof, and the people that did the work on the flat roof had, had never done a flat roof like ours before. In other words, they had no experience. And um, there is, this was a few years ago when we had, uh, was it Hurricane Sandy? Well, we had a huge, big wind rainstorm, right? And these guys, what did they do? There's a big gaping hole in the roof. And 
they put a tarp over and a few barrels just to make sure that the tarp didn't blow away. Okay, you, you have a, 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 a hurricane approaching and you put a tarp over a gaping hole uh, in the roof, which is basically, um, it, 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 well, as a consequence of that, they, they, were, they should have sealed up the entire roof and then when the storm blew over, they could pull all, all of the, um, you know, the boarding and all of the ceiling off and then, you know, continued working on the thing. Did they do that? No, they didn't do that. They did not do that. Well, about six or seven units got lambasted. An insurance, um, they had to uh, file an insurance claim. And, uh, and all that stuff. So you get people that, that get in positions of power and then they, uh, they just get, they get, they go buck wild with their power. Did any, any, anybody else notice that? How people that get in positions of power have no business being there? I mean, it's, it's like stoop. Forgive me for saying this, <laughs> but I'm sorry. This is just my opinion, and I'm going to express it. But stupid is as stupid does. The reason why stupid people get elected is because I would say that the large majority of the populace is not really educating themselves on, on, on who it is that they're putting into these positions of power. And of course, then they find out it's too late. They're like, oh, 